Shalom, Shalom. This is the brother Daniel coming back again with another lesson, giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Racha Hakwadash, the warnings to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, and Shalom to the hopeful elect brothers and sisters that believe in this word and that fear in the names of Yahweh, Wa Yahweh Shai, and a hey, for for you know new believers. Uh, you know, new uh, uh, brothers and sisters that are coming into the faith. Hey, this is this is this is an admonishment uh, to you. Now let's look up the this real quick. Let's look up the word admonishment, right? In the uh, etymology dictionary, you can use it in any dictionary. Admonishment basically means what? To remind, to urge, to exhort, to warn, to give warning. Warning. Right to encourage, to warn. Okay, so as a, as a warning, an encouragement, right? And the warning I wanted to you know give you through the spirit is stay, stay away, stay away from these books, man. All right, stay away from these books that are not in the sixteen eleven King James version of the Bible. Okay. The, the extra books that have been added in, the Book of Jubilee and the Book of Jasher or Yasher, you know, the editions of, of uh, uh, you know, the um, uh, editions of Abraham. All these books that are not in the King James 1611 version, stay away from them. Do not read them. Okay? Only focus on those books that are in the King James version of the Bible. Why? Because all the books coincide with each other and they agree and they all the bible proves itself and it backs itself up it supports itself right so here i got the king james 1611 app you know is the old testament genesis all the way down to malachi new testament matthew all the way down to revelations right and then the apocrypha second ezra all the way down to uh what is it uh first and second maccabees now check this out they got the book and they just they just add this in because this was not on mine before, you know. But that's the that's the spirit. These extra books down here, stay away from them, man. If you can get a Bible app that doesn't have them, then great, right? But don't don't dive into these books, man. At least you be confused, okay? At least you be confused, you know. And I was inspired to do this. Because I was watching this video by the uh, the elder brother uh, Yasha Wamba um, with GMS uh, with uh, his uh, channel is uh, Remnant Say 144. He was doing a, a response to if you eat meat, you are going to burn in the lake of fire. And these these cats up here, go? man, what are, what are they doing? They're reading out of these extra books that are not uh, uh, scriptural, man. That don't line up with the scriptures at all, and there's many precepts brothers are bringing out that are that that show you that these books are off. So stay away from these books. Stay away from these even outside of that man. Stay away from these the Egyptian Book of the Dead, uh, the Quran, this and that. Stay away from that man. Now, if a if a brother who is more built up in the spirit. To handle that, if he features some passages from these different books in his video and proves to you through the scriptures that those books are off and they're not the truth, then that's a different deal. You're watching that through that video and it's being filtered. Okay? But outside of that, stay away from these other books. Now, let me get a precept right here. Let me get this precept. Um, where we at? So check this out. Isaiah chapter 34 and 16. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. No one shall, no one of these shall fail. None shall want her mate. For my mouth it had commanded and his spirit it had gathered them. Right? So the book of the Lord is that 1611 King James, man. Now, just real quick, because I got a 1611 right here. Um, the physical book. Because hey, this this devil. He he he's slick, man. He tries to sow confusion. So he he added that book of Enoch and Jasher and 
Jubilee into um, that that uh, uh, Bible app. And that was that was just recently added because that wasn't on there before. That was just recently, unless it was there and I didn't notice it. But um, that's how this devil operates. He operates with deceit and confusion, man. Okay, so stay away from them them books, them books, uh, them extra books. You know, like I like I showed you here on the uh, King King uh, King James sixteen eleven. They got the Book of Enoch, Joshua, Jubilee. Now I just I just want to take a look at this one right here. This is the the actual printed version. We're gonna look at the books in here. The Book of Enoch, Jasher, Jubilee is not in there. The additions of Abraham and the letter to last words of Abraham to Isaac, that, that bullshit is not in there, man. All right, and that's exactly what it is. Crap. Right, but we're about to have take a look here. Just real quick and bear with me for a second. My hand is uh, currently messed up from an injury. But here, we're going to look at the table of contents. Uh, so like here. As soon as I find it. Well, you know what? I'll do you one better. I'll do you one better. Let's do this. What are all the books of King JV Right, so here we go. It says here, list of books of the King James Version, right? And what do you have here? The Old Testament, the Apocrypha, and the New Testament, right? So look at all of that. From Genesis to Malachi. Look at all of this. From Matthew all the way down to Revelations in the New Testament, right? Right? Uh, and in between there, the Apocrypha. You know those brothers who have a 1611 King James version. You know they know. Uh, you know they know that. You know these are the only books that are in there. You know, right? The books of in the Apocrypha, man. You know Ezra. You know Wisdom of Solomon, Sirach. Right? These are the books that comprise of the whole word and the the book of the Lord. Okay. Okay. Worry about that now. On top of that, on top of that, advise brothers and sisters that are that are new to the faith, that are coming in. Hey, just if, if the Lord have brought you uh, to watch videos from GMS, they call her Lord Yahweh by Shemiah Shai. Stick to watching videos with GMS. Because if you watch GMS and you watch ISUPK, you watch GMS and you watch uh, IUIC, right? G-O-C-C, -C. you watch all these other camps along with watching GMS, you are going to end up confused, right? And, and dudes like, you know, hey, people like this, man, reading reading out of the books that are not a, a part of the word of the Lord, all right, that are not a part of the original 1611 King James Version of the Bible, read, uh, those those men who are reading out of those different books, do not watch their videos. Stay away from their videos. If they're going into the book of Jasher, the book of Jubilee, the Enoch, additions, uh, letters to uh, from, from Abraham to Isaac, whatever they call it. If they're going into these different books, all right, and they're reading out of it and teaching based upon those books, right? As if that is the word of the Most High, you do not watch those videos. Why? Because you can be, you can end up confused, and it could be to your destruction. Okay, um, let me grab this precept right here too. 
you know, and it's, it's spirit hop on me to say this because you know, hey, when I when I you know first uh, 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 started to uh, come into the the true knowledge, man, I I stayed I stayed away from uh, uh, watching these other cats, and I still kind of do, man, because I'm a you know I'm a young man in the faith, but I don't. You know, I don't watch I don't watch these other cams videos, man, like that. You know, I might go, you know, now I'm, I'm more built up to be able to watch their videos and and basically filter everything out through the spirit. Right. But I don't delve into these, uh, you know, I, I, here and there, you know, I'll, 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 you know, do certain videos where I read certain patches from particular uh, books to, to prove that they're wrong through the scriptures. But in the beginning, I, w I was, you know. I was staying away from that. I was staying away from these other books, and I was staying away from these these bugged out camps and these men teaching these bugged out doctrines, sticking to GMS only. All right, until I became uh, uh, built up more in the faith to where I can handle that, you know. And still now, you know, uh, I'm sure there's different things that I'm I'm not able to handle being so young in the faith. So, hey man, you, you gotta be careful, man. You gotta be you gotta be careful uh, what uh, things you allow into your mind because demons can come with them, right? Don't put yourself in a situation uh, to be tempted. Don't don't purposefully put yourself in a situation to be tempted. Okay. Um. Oh, so okay. Let me get this right here. This is uh First Timothy's chapter four. In verse one, it says, now the spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times, some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils, man. There's seducing spirits out here, man. Right. You got certain uh, individuals that uh, have these seducing spirits working with them. And when people come to watch their videos, they enter in. To these, uh, uh, you know, the individual that's watching their video, it enter into his mind or her mind for that matter when they listen to it and they take it in. But there's there's no there's no filter to block, you know, uh, wickedness from being sown into your mind, man. Right. Because they want built up in the faith, you know, built up in, in the scriptures. Right. So you got certain individuals that have seducing spirits on them, man, that can seduce you uh, with their false doctrines, man. That's what it says. Doctrines of devils. It says speaking lies and hypocrisy. Right. These guys right here on, uh, you know, Elder Yasha Wamba's video um, telling you that if you eat meat, you are going to burn in the lake of fire. Where is that in the scriptures? Now, the, you know, the scriptures do talk about, uh, let me grade it real quick. The scriptures do say this in terms of a particular kind of meat you, you eat, right? Let's get to Isaiah chapter 66 and verse, I'll get verse 17. It says, and they that sanctify themselves and purify themselves in the gardens behind one tree in the midst, eating swine's flesh, specifically an unclean animal according to the law of the Most High and that's Leviticus, the, cha the 11th chapter. Eating swine's flesh, an abomination, and the mouse shall be consumed together, meaning they're going to be destroyed. Right? It talks about the Lord coming with his, his rebukes as flames of fire. But this is specifically talking about unclean animals. Right? It's not talking about you eating because you have meat that's unclean and meat that's clean. Right. So this this is these this is lies and hypocrisy, man. OK, and people who uh, uh, who uh, listen to these guys and actually take heed unto them, they have been seduced. All right. The demons hopped on them and blinded them, man. So that's why it's important to stay. If the Lord brought you to GMS, stick with GMS videos. OK, get built up. In the faith, stick with GMS videos, man. Because GMS has the 100% truth. Stick with GMS videos. Stick with the scriptures. Don't delve into these other books, man. 
right? They cannot they cannot satisfy you. Everything we need, you know, K A King James uh, 1611 version, man. All right, that they have all those those uh not not necessarily the, the version per se is 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 the closest version to uh to the Hebrew, right? But have all the books in there, all those uh, uh books of the Bible, man. Stick to that. Right. So going back, it says uh, verse two again, speaking lies and hypocrisy, having their conscience, their mind seared with a hot iron being subdued. So your conscience could be seared with a hot iron, man. OK, you you could be you could you. Hey, you you, you could a uh, uh, fell for the okie doke, man. You could be gone now. You know, because that, that spirit hopped on you, man. You allowed that spirit into your mind because you weren't being careful, man. And this is why through the spirit I'm giving uh, new uh, brothers and sisters to the faith this admonishment, this warning. It says, for, uh, check this out. Forbidding to marry and commanding to abstain from meat. This is this guy right here. This, this is a, a, a physical manifestation and representation of... Of this scripture we're reading right here, right? <laughs> These guys are uh, 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 forbidding you to eat meat. All right. These guys are for, uh, telling you to abstain from meat. Okay. So that lets you know what they fit these script, these precepts that I'm reading, man. They've been seduced. By seducing spirits, they're teaching lies and hypocrisy, and they are forbidding you to uh, uh, to eat meat. They're telling you to abstain from meats when that's not in the scriptures. The meat that you abstain from is the unclean meat. That's why the Lord told uh, Moses to put a, a difference between the clean and the unclean. Right? It says... Uh, Commanding to abstain from meats, which the Most High have created to be received with thanksgiving of them which believe and know the truth. Right? So there you go, man. Um, uh, another precept. Because, hey, the Most High, the Heavenly Father, is the true... Uh, uh, he's he's the true uh, fountain of, of living water, man. Okay, uh, this is um, Jeremiah chapter two verse thirteen. It says, "For my people have committed two evils; they have forsaken me, the fountain of living waters, and hewed, meaning to cut, hewed them out cisterns, broken cisterns that can hold no water." Right. Once again, flashback. These guys. Here on the screen are broken cisterns that can hold no water. You put water into the vessel, it's leaking out, man. They cannot hold any water. These 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 uh, uh <laughs> these uh, Egyptologists, broken cisterns can't hold any water. These uh, uh, Muslims can't broken cisterns can't hold any water, right? These uh, 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 Christ, uh, Christians, man. In, the, in these Christian churches, these pastors, broken cisterns, and they they can't hold no water. Okay, right. Uh, with that being said, let's get this other precept too, just to back this up. Right, we're gonna go to the Book of John, chapter, chapter. Uh, what do we see? Chapter 7. I'm going to go to verse 30. Uh, 38. It says, He that believeth on me, as the scripture hath said, this is the Lord saying this, out of his belly, meaning his mind, shall flow rivers of living water. Right? So this is talking about an individual who believes on the Lord. According to the scriptures, it says out of his belly is going to flow rivers of living water. That represents what knowledge, wisdom and understanding. So in turn, that that man 
is a cistern that can hold water. The living waters precisely, man. All right. Now us, you know, you know, I and you know, brothers, you know, uh, a, we we've learned from what the, the the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. The Most High has poured water into into them. All right. Those are cisterns of water that can, you know, cisterns that can hold water, man, which we learn from. All right. And by believing through through the scriptures, through the Holy Spirit, we become those cisterns also, you know. OK. That, that That's holding the, the, the true knowledge of the most high man. Right. So, hey, the elders and apostles, hey, hey, stick, stick with them, man, you know. I'm gonna, now I got that all, all to get this precept right here. It says this right here. It says, drink waters out of thine own cistern and running waters out of thine own well. Right? From the true teachers of the scriptures, man. Now, hey, the, the knowledge and wisdom is in the Holy Bible, right? But the Lord has to give you the Holy Spirit to... to uh, to absorb the knowledge that you read. Because you can't just read the Bible by itself and get understanding. No. You have to have somebody to teach you. Okay. Uh, let me get that precept real quick. And, and, you know, these are basic scriptures, man. Um, let me get that precept too. We're going to go to the book of Jeremiah, chapter 3, verse 15. It says, and I will give you pastors... According to mine heart. So these are these are those cisterns that we supposed to be getting the water from, man. These are those cisterns we supposed to be getting the water from. Those passages which the Lord has set up to teach us the true knowledge of the scriptures, right? The elders and apostles of Great Millstone and the brothers on down. Right? It says, I will give you pastors according to mine heart. Which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. There you go. Those are them cisterns you're supposed to be seeking the water from, man. Right? I can read a little bit more out of that. That's 15. Uh, 16, it says, Let thy uh, Proverbs uh, 5 and 16. It says, Let thy fountains be dispersed abroad and rivers of waters, of waters in the streets. So, Hey, you know, when we receive this knowledge and we understand it, all right, we have the ability to teach it, all right, we're supposed to disperse these living waters in the streets, man, all right, in the hope that the elect come in, all right, and the, the destruction of this current world uh, comes to pass, which it will. It says, let them be only thine own, only give them to your people. Right. The Israelites. This is what that that fountain of living water. The Israelites forsake this fountain of living water, the most high. OK, so it's only for the Israelites. It says, let thy fountains be dispersed abroad and rivers of water in the streets. Let them be only thine own and not strangers with thee, not for the heathens. This is only for Israelites, not for you other nations. Let thy fountains be blessed and rejoice with the wife of thy youth. This is the wife of thy youth, man. Of our youth, man. You know? Hey, a lot of a lot of us come into the truth. We come in when we're young. You know? Alright, this this truth is our true wife, man. This truth is our woman. Right? So, you know, I got that. Um right now, this is uh Hebrews chapter five. I mentioned this before, but uh, five and thirteen it says, "For everyone that is un that useth milk is unskillful in the word of righteousness, for he is a babe. A hey, I myself am a babe. I haven't been in the truth that long, and I'm not uh, skillful like the the brothers that are above me. Okay, uh, the the different uh, brothers that have been in the the truth." Uh, longer than me, I'm not as skillful as they are. I'm uh, definitely not uh, as, as skillful in the word as the elders 
and apostles. Right? So we we deal, we that are uh haven't been in the truth long, we deal with milk. The Lord increases us, you know, as 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 time goes on and we, we grow in the spirit, and we pray the Lord increase us and, and have us to mature in the spirit, but we deal with the milk, the simple stuff, and the, the milk is the milk can be deep, man. It's, there's a lot of milk, man. When a, when a baby is, is growing and he's, you know, he's breastfeeding, he drinks a lot of milk. There's a lot of milk to be drank, to be drunken, you know, which is the, 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 the basics of the scriptures. Focus on that. Don't focus on things that are, that are high above your understanding that you that are hard for you to get. Focus on the simple things, man. Simplicity of Hamashiach, man. It says, um, but strong meat belonging to them that are of full age, our elders and apostles and brothers that are, uh, you know, been in the truth for a, a long time. You know, they they have the ability to discern between certain things and to even read certain books and not get bugged out, man. Certain things that are not according to the scriptures, uh, certain you know, religious books or whatever, and not become bugged out and not be seduced uh, uh, by these different spirits, man. Okay. It says, uh, but strong meat belongs to them that are of full age, even those who by reason of use have their senses exercised to discern both good and evil. So the Lord has trained our elders and apostles up. He's trained them for years and years to, to withstand uh, 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 and discern uh, uh, between things that are good and evil, man. When you come into the truth, you start to develop a, a spiritual filter, man. You filter everything out through the scriptures. All right. As time goes on, it gets stronger and stronger. You know, you might have a. a <laughs> you might have a. a let me use this as an example if I got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to use this as an example. <laughs> Salaki. This, 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 is, this is an example, man. You know, it just came to me through the spirit. Right? Hold on. I got... Let me show you an example, man. You know? Uh, dang. Where's my... Oh, here we go. Perfect. Perfect, right? Right, I'm gonna turn this camera on. Right, so right, it's it's, it's like a uh, <laughs> a uh, uh, a filter. Like I said, you know, brothers that are just coming into the truth. Here, let me turn this. Let me turn this uh, this camera on real quick, if I can. Camera. Camera, let me turn this around. Right, so hey, here I got what you call a, a what they would call a sieve, right? So us brothers that are young in the faith, this is this is kind of what our fil our filter will look like. You see these holes are kind of big, you know. They usually use this to to, to strain water, so the thing the the vegetable or whatever thing you want to keep inside stays on the inside, right? But you know you can still have a. a this, this this is how big the big the holes are, man. You know, it's not as uh, fine tuned as something such as this that has smaller holes, man. Right to strain out and to, to to filter through things, man. So this would be something like the elders, or even finer than this, right? And this would be someone who who's uh, new to the faith or, or young in the faith, man. You know, in, in terms of spiritual filter, you know, you know, over time, you know, your your, your filter. You know, from the time you come in and you grow in the spirit, your filter is slowly growing to some, something like this, right? Now you can you can uh, keep all the things that's good about uh, what what you're experiencing or what you're hearing or what you're watching, right? All the spiritual things stay in here, but all the other stuff, uh, you know, uh, falls through the cracks, man. You know, I just wanted to use that as an example, <laughs> right? So our elders have that have that super fine super keen uh, 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 filter man all right because their senses have been exercised 
by the Most High through, throughout the eight, throughout the years, right? Uh, P, First Peter chapter two and two. It says, uh, "As newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the word of the word, that ye may grow thereby." Desire the simple things, the fu the fundamentals of the word. Desire that that you may increase. And grow in knowledge, man, and become built up and rooted in the faith. Right. So you know that's all. That's all I have. Hey, man. You know, hey, brothers and sisters that are coming into the faith. Once again, stay away from, you know, stay away from listening to guys like this. You know, hey, listen to uh, uh you know, GMS. You know, don't don't uh, mix and match and watch all these different camps. You'll get confused, okay? You'll 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 be confused because you're you're. Hey, we don't all teach the the same doctrine, but GMS has one hundred percent truth, okay? And uh, yeah, man. Hey, you watch the videos. Hey, brothers will point out to you whom you should stay away from. Whom you should not watch, whom you should not take heed to. So with that, you know, Lord willing, you are edified, and I'll say Shalom.